Dan at Marginally Clever here. We're putting together a Michelangelo 2, and this is the control box. Um, all right, so let's just get right into it. Uh, you will find um, the wires on this end of the power plug may need to be stripped. A little bit of material needs to be removed. The same is true. Our stepper motors come with a plug on the end, and the coloring is great, but the plug gets in the way because it doesn't screw into here. So we're going to have to cut and strip these wires, which means exposing the metal inside the, the, the safety casing. We've got a lovely um, um, wire stripper available in our store. Check it out if you don't have one. And uh, so we'll, get, we'll do the easy part first. Sounds like a good start. And notice we've got 12 volt, 2 amp here. That's where the power wire is going to come in. And we've got four letters on each side for the wire colors so you know where to plug them in. And we've even added where the USB goes, and you can put your unique model number at the bottom. So you'll always know which one's yours. For starters, I'm gonna put two screws in. Turn the whole thing over. Put these on finger tight plus a quarter turn is plenty. Yes. Now the bottom of the motor shield. The motor shield gives your Arduino superpowers. It's already fantastic, but this gives it the special power to run stepper motors. Um, each of these pins has to go in the matching holes. So if you see I'm holding it this way, I flip it over, you see how these, the pins line up? The same thing's true, there's a little gap on this side, it lines up with the gap over here. So I put them in one side, and before I push it down, I get the other side going. That's right, that's right. Okay, so that's now in place. These wires are pre-stripped, so I'm okay here. But I'm going to show you how to do the other ones in a minute. Now this is 12 volt, and you'll notice a point in here. This says M plus. M plus is on the right-hand side. That's where the red goes, so this way. There's a little hole on the side, and the wire goes right in the hole. You might need to loosen this screw first to make it fit. So that's loosening. Counterclockwise is loosening. Clockwise is tightening. Ready, tidy, left, loosey. All right, that's in. This wire can you can wrap this around, and it holds itself in place. You can also feel free to trim it even further, cut it down, and then strip it and connect it if that makes you happier. The holes here are for the suction cups and they fit in with a twist. A twist. Keep the tab on the outside so that you can reach them. If they're under the wood, when this is mounted on a whiteboard, you'll have a hard time getting it off again. So the last step is these stepper motors. Actually, going to open this up a little bit more for ease of use and simplicity of explanation. So you can really see what I'm doing. Okay. I'm taking the smallest setting, the very smallest tooth on here. Red, done, now blue, I'm 
I'm being very careful here that I don't accidentally cut one of these other wires while I'm stripping this wire. Then we'd be back to square one. All right. Now again here, I'm gonna use a slightly smaller uh, Because these screws are so small, I find a very small screwdriver works wonders. First I'm going to loosen these because they come out of the box, they come tightened. <laughs> Can you see how it says RG space BY? That's very deliberate. This middle screw is never used. So, I'll start with red. Red goes in the little hole. And then hold it in place. And righty tighty. Until you reach the bottom. So, since we saw it's RGBY, the next one is green. Good. While I'm here, in we go. There we go. That's one. Now we'll do the other. So you saw on this side, red is on this end. On this side, red is on the opposite end. So the colors, colors are reversed. You might want to give a little twist here. It keeps the wires all tidy when you send them home. Green, space, remember we don't do the middle one, and lastly, now these wires are made up you saw the interiors are made up of many smaller wires, very fine hairs. You want to be sure that the fine hair from one side doesn't re touch a fine hair from another or that even touch the metal in here because if you do, the coils will short out and the motor won't move as you expect. It won't, it won't break your board, I mean, it won't fry your electronics, but you will not see the movement that you expect and you might think that everything has died. Um, or is, is sluggish. We've got our motors attached to our controller and our power supply. We'll plug our USB in here to give it instructions that'll turn the motors, that'll drive everything. In, uh, in the next step, I'll show you how these motors are mounted onto the, in the motor mounts, which go on the corners of your board or in the corners of your whiteboard. Um, then we'll cover the pen holder and the counterweights and the belts. And lastly, we'll show you how to actually mount all the equipment on the on a board or on a whiteboard on a window for drawing